All right, everyone, we start. Today is the second day of November. Your objective is on the screen, and that is to differentiate the types of chemical reactions. Your focus question today, what are the different types of chemical reactions? Your overarching question is still the same. How do systems and environments produce and affect change? Now, remember that tomorrow there is no class, okay? No class tomorrow, so the next time that we see each other, it's going to be on Wednesday. All right, now, whenever you say chemical reaction, this is uh, the phenomenon when reactants are changed to make products. Okay, you also have one term here, which is closely related to a chemical reaction. You call this your chemical equation. And when you say chemical equation, this is a symbolic representation of a chemical reaction. Okay, so in your chemical equation, your chemical reaction is symbolized by different um, chemical formulas that you have. Now, say you have this as your chemical reactions for photosynthesis. You all know what photosynthesis is. This is the process through which plants make their food. And in here, you have your reactants, which are carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so again, reactants, carbon dioxide and water. Then in the presence of uh, sunlight, which is of course harnessed by chlorophyll, the red, uh, the green, the green pigment in plants. These are going to be converted into your your sugar, glucose, and of course oxygen. Okay, that's oxygen gas. Now, as you can see, your chemical equation is found here. Carbon dioxide, of course, your chemical formula for that would be CO2. Water is H2O. Then, of course, they will be converted to produce your sugar. This is glucose, C6H12O6, plus O2. That is your oxygen gas. Okay, so again, you have your chemical equation, which uses symbols to represent your chemical reaction. Now, we have five types of chemical reactions here. Okay, so these are the five different types of chemical reactions. There is another type, which you are going to learn through your assignment today. Okay, so again here, we have the five different types of chemical reactions. The first one is called synthesis or combination. Now you have the general formula for synthesis or combination. You have A plus B giving you AB. Okay, so simply stated, this is just a combination of two substances. Okay, two substances to form one compound. Okay, so for example, for this, you have your sodium and chlorine giving you sodium chloride. Okay, so that's A plus B giving you AB, that is synthesis or combination. Now, the opposite for this is called decomposition. Okay, so decomposition, general formula for this is AB decomposing to give you A plus B. So your example here is also the opposite of the, the example that we had for synthesis. Here you have sodium chloride decomposing to give you sodium plus chlorine. Okay, so again, this is decomposition. Now, the third type of chemical reaction that we have here is single replacement. General formula for single replacement, you have AB plus C. And as you can see in your product, your C takes the place of B. Okay, so it displaces B or it replaces B. Sometimes it's also called single displacement. Okay, because one substance displaces or replaces another substance. So you have AB plus C giving you AC plus B. Now you have to take note that uh, another substance can replace or displace one substance if it is more reactive than it. Okay, it's more reactive, then it can replace that substance. If not, then it cannot do anything. There's not going to be any reaction. Okay, so that's your single replacement. Example for this, you have magnesium plus your hydrochloric acid giving you ma magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas. So as you can see, your magnesium here takes the place of hydrogen, okay? Magnesium takes the place of hydrogen, which tells us that magnesium is more reactive than hydrogen, okay? Because it took place or, or took the place of hydrogen, right? So again, that's your third type of chemical reaction, single replacement. Now the fourth type of uh, your chemical reaction is here, and this is double replacement. This is very similar to single replacement, but in this case, you have two compounds and this, they switch partners, okay? So you have AB plus CD, then they switch partners here. So you have AC plus BD, okay? So you also have your 
chemical equation as your example here at the bottom. Okay, so again, you have two compounds reacting and they switch partners. All right, so that's your double replacement. Again, this is also called double, dis double displacement. Now, there is a very special form of double dis displacement that we always see or double replacement that we always see in the lab, and this is called neutralization. Okay, so again, as I've mentioned, this is a special type of double replacement. And this is a double replacement which happens between an acid and a base. Okay, if you have an acid and a base, this would usually have the product salt and water. Okay, sometimes it's called a salt, it's precipitate. So again, whenever you have a chemical equation or chemical reaction between an acid and a base, your products would always be water and a salt. Okay, the products would always be water and a salt. So say you have your hydrochloric acid here, which is an acid, and you make this react to your sodium hydroxide, it is going to give you your sodium chloride. Of course, we know this to be our table salt plus water. Okay, so again, whenever you have a neutralization, a special type of double replacement, you'd always have salt and water as your products. Okay, so again, neutralization is special type of double replacement, which happens between an acid and a base. Okay, now that's the fourth type of chemical equation or chemical reaction that we have. And the last one that we have here is combustion. In layman's term, this is called burning. Okay, so this is burning. And here you have your hydrocarbon. Okay, you have your hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen gas. Your product would always be carbon dioxide and water. Okay, now, so if you are given several examples of chemical equations, and if you see that there is a hydrocarbon, a compound of carbon and hydrogen, which reacts with your oxygen gas, and the products are carbon dioxide and water, you can say that that is combustion. Okay, that's combustion, or that's burning. All right, so again, those are the five different types of chemical reactions that we have. We had synthesis or combination, just A plus B giving you AB. You have its opposite, which is decomposition, which is AB giving you A plus B. Then you have single replacement. One substance replaces another substance in a compound, okay? Or one substance displaces another substance. So we sometimes would also call this single displacement. Then, of course, you have your double replacement. You have two compounds switching partners, okay, or switching their substances. Now, we've also mentioned neutralization, a special type of um, double replacement, which happens between an acid and a base. The products would always be salt and water. Then, of course, on our screen here, we have combustion, the last type of chemical reaction that we have. This is your hydrocarbon reacting with the oxygen gas, giving you carbon dioxide and water. Again, as I've mentioned, carbon dioxide and water would always be the products of your combustion. Okay, any questions? Any questions? All right, if you have no question, let me give you your independent work. You are to go back to the same material that you had for today and you open your types of reactions, that's going to be from pages 1 until 17.